I'm excited to introduce you guys to the July and August Bank and Creek Kit, but what I'm even more excited about is we are at Black Fork. We are at one of the prettiest creek systems I've been in a long time. We've got beautiful water, beautiful conditions today. Guys, we're gonna get hammered. We've got the Juicy Helgramite in matte black from GLF, but we got it paired with the GLF Stealth Ball Jig. And this Stealth Ball Jig comes in weighing at one eighth of an ounce. So we've got a super strong current with a lot of rocks right here, and that's where this Helgramite thrives, dude. This is where these guys live. But what's making this one effective today is I'm getting it crammed in between these rocks. I'm actually throwing it on really light braid. That way I can afford to get it in these rocks and still pop it out and not lose my Helgramite. This matte black's gonna really help us a lot today though, because we got a little bit of rain not too long ago. And that's another reason why I'm so brave as to throw this light braid is because the water's not as clear as it usually is. It's a little dirty. So you're allowed to be, you know, you're allowed to be a little bit more loud about your approach. It's just a hot day. Guys, these fish want to chill out too, all right? They're going to be over here in this shade, hanging out, living their best life, waiting for them bait fish to come on by, and they're going to eat. Jacked him. This is a much better fish. Yeah, I knew a good buddy was going to be living in here. Good size gill right here. Check out this fatty. Yeah, juicy Helgramite, boys. He had to have it. Hanging out in that shade, just like I was talking about. Oh, bass. Yes, all the gills, all that fun stuff. But I knew this guy. No shot was one of these dudes not living in this hole. GLF is a whole new brand of fishing in general. It's only been around for a little while now. And personally, I've barely fished any of their stuff because I can never find it, right? Like, dude, they, they are flying. Oh! <laughs> Look at this freaking dude. Look at that smallie. That's a smallie right there, baby. Come here, oh, we lost her. We lost her, that was a beautiful fish though. I can't even be upset. Can't even be upset, she put on a show. Like I was saying before we got interrupted by that smallie guys, is like GLF is just a hot brand right now. Their baits are on fire. Everything about them I love, like their natural buoyancy in the water, just everything about them. They're built for smallmouth fishing, but obviously you can come down to a creek like so and just hammer them. Well, I'm just as excited about this one as I was the last one, because we've got the GLF Juvie Crawl. We've got it in 2.5 inches, but it comes in the color green pumpkin orange belly float. As you can tell by the name, this bait floats. It's really buoyant in the water. We've got our mini GLF tube heads on and they come in one eighth of an ounce. And dude, this is the ultimate combo. It's such a unique combo. There's something so unique about a tube crawl to me. It's just super cool. You show up with your buds with this, dude, and you're gonna, you're gonna look like a stud, just saying. On that Juicy Helgramite, I was throwing it on an ultralight. I was throwing it on a Falcon ultralight in the Buku series. But this one here, we went ahead and got out the mid-action Falcon, the old Evo series for this little bit bigger bait, a little heavier, and we're gonna absolutely whack them on this. <laughs> a little bass lives in the pocket. Well, I got a small mouth. I got me a small mouth. Mm, good fish, good bass. I found me a good bass. <laughs> I found, the Juvie Crawl found me a good bass. And the same little hole, same little hole I was hitting. It ain't the small mouse mama, cause that's a largey, but God, that's a beautiful, ooh! That was a beautiful creek fish. Good fish, right out the gate. Oh, a fighter now, this has to be a bass. And it's a bass. Come here, bud. Oh, it's a beauty. It's a beautiful smallmouth. Let's see if I can get this one to me in peace. Show him, look how pretty he is. Ow, he bit me, he bit me. Look at that. Beautiful creek smallmouth. We ain't done. All I'm doing when I bring this bait back to me, guys, is just, oh my God, a hammer, a hammer. Big fish, big fish. Well, I was trying to tell y'all how to retrieve this bait, but I'll tell you in a second. I'll tell you in a second, we got, we got bigger, <laughs> bigger problems right now. Oh my, oh my, this might be, guys, this is hands down the biggest smallmouth I've ever caught, especially out of a creek. Look at this mama, don't come off, please. Ow, she bit me. She bit the fire out of me. I ain't even mad though. Look at that smallie, guys. Mm, that, oh, that is what it's all about right there, boys. Jacked it, took an appendage off. I do have to give GLF a little bit of props though. Cause I don't know how many gills or any other small little bass and stuff I've hammered out of here and I just now lost an appendage. Like these, these baits stay together. 
anyway, whenever I retrieve this bait, I throw her out there, let her sink for just a sec, but you want to give it a steady retrieve, the light pops. You want that crawl to come up off the bottom, hit the bottom, off the bottom, hit the bottom. You could let it sit there. I generally don't. I just, I mean, I just fling it around, dude. I just hop it like it's wild. I try to make it look like a fleeing crawfish. We've got a classic banger now. We've got the Rebel Middle Wee Crawl in the color Ditch Crawl. Guys, anybody who creek fishes or has creek fished for a long time knows this bait. Anybody who hasn't, let me bust it down. So let's talk about our setup a little bit. I got another ultralight I got. The other one was Buku. This one is an Evo series, just like that bigger rod I was just using. Fabulous rod. Anyways, I have a braid to fluoro leader tied on here. Now I know I've mentioned with this stained water, that's not so much important today. Well, this bait, this bait has a split ring on it. So I want it to go wild. So I have six pound test. It just lets that bait do its thing down there. Oh, jacked me. Good, good fish. Oh my god, <laughs> you see how far he flew up out that water? There he goes again. He's trying to lose that lure. Lou's trying to drag a little more. We want him to fight it all off. We want him to fight that energy off. This is a big guy. Now I'm always coming towards me. He's gonna jump again soon. Oh, oh, don't break me off. Oh, don't fall off. Come on. Oh man, this pole. <laughs> These light poles, man, these light lures, you catch yourself a decent smallmouth, especially creek smallmouth, because they get so fired up, mad at you. That, dude, you just have to take it slow and easy. This has been the craziest fish battle of my life, boy. He's got me hung up on something over here. He's gonna get off if I'm not careful. Oh, 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 oh he unhung. He unhung. He unhung. He's coming. He's coming to the promised land. And we got him. All right, guys. I had to put the big girl back. I'm sorry. We had some technical difficulties with the camera, and I just couldn't leave her out. Couldn't leave her out that long. But this water here, this big hole, gets super deep. Further down there, I discovered that while I was covering water with that metal weed crawl. So we're gonna put it away and we're gonna break out the covert finesse spinner bait. We've got it in white, but we've got the sauce too. We've got the three inch yum FF sonar minnow and we've got it today in sight minnow, which is just another white that is gonna pair perfectly with this spinner bait. We're gonna go ahead and tie it on back onto our big braided pole. All right, guys, we're out here. We're getting close to belly deep. This, this is what I've been waiting on all day. Oh, 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 hammer, 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 hammer. Good. This has to be a smallie right here. I mean, if it ain't, it's a fighter. Oh no, it's a gill. But dude, look at this hog. Look at this hog. Hang on. Look at this absolute hog of a gill. Like, come on. I'm throwing a covert finesse. Pretty, pretty big bait for this creek, dude. Look at that. Bro didn't care. Bro was hungry. All right, guys. It's a new day with a new location. Listen, I waited as far as I could at Black Fork before getting way too deep. And I could have went back and covered all the same water and just kept fishing that river, but I figured we spice things up and we crack the rest of this dude out at a pond. And we're starting off at this pond on one of my personal favorites. We've got the Booyah Poppin' Pad Crasher Jr. in the color Pumpkin Seed, dude. I absolutely love this top water because you can fish this thing in the gunkiest of gunk and not really have to worry about getting hung up too much and you can pull them fish out of that gunk. Oh my God, he caught me by surprise. That's a big bass, boys. That's a big bass, boys. That's what the freaking Booyah Poppin' Pack Crasher does, boy, Junior. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, 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 I don't even know what to say. That's a personal best. That's a PV. I don't have a scale. I just can't get over this moment. I gotta get big girl back though. Luckily, we whipped out the old medium heavy Buku Falcon Rod bait caster. I thought it'd be really cool that I got to break it out today too. All right, we've got the Texas rig set up right here. We've got the bullet weights and 3 16th ounce. We've got the Pro X wide gap hooks. And then we've also got the Yum 7.5 inch ribbon tail in June bug. And this June bug dude is going to get them. This water is super dirty. We're going to Texas rig this dude up, throw around in these weeds, and we're going <laughs> to pray for another one. So we moved on 
to the other side because the other side's way deeper. And that's primarily where you want to throw this ribbon tail. I mean, it's a hog of soft plastic, but don't let that intimidate you when you're fishing these smaller bodies of water because, I mean, look at this guy. He came up and crammed it. Oh, oh, God, good fish, good fish, good fish, good fish. God, he was carrying it for a minute. I didn't realize. Startled me. I had to yank up on him. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, guys, the July and August kit, dude, it's full of awesome lures, like epic lures. A lot of some of my favorite lures that I fish with on just a regular day-to-day -day basis. Guys, I highly suggest if you want some GLF, you want some brand new product that's super hard to find, pick you up a kit or subscribe for all the following kits as well.